Hello and welcome to video 16. I've got a lot of requests for this one. In this problem we have two masses, M1 and M2. I have M1 drawn bigger than M2, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. It's pushed by some force F, and there's going to be a normal force between these two masses. Now in this problem we're first going to deal with a frictionless case, and in another problem we'll deal with what happens when there's friction. So we want to find out what the acceleration of the system is, what the normal force is between the two blocks. Then we want to talk about what happens if M1 is really big, what happens if M2 is really big, and what you get when you have actual numbers in the problem. So let's go down. So again, we have a force, we have M1, and we have M2. Coordinate system here is pretty straightforward, positive direction to the right. If we draw a free body diagram of object number one, we have the force that's pushing it, plus we have the normal force going to the left. And for M2, we have the normal force going to the right. And that's the only force acting in the horizontal direction. Again, strictly speaking, there is a normal force with the table as well. So normally you think of normal force as being equal and opposite to the weight force and we do have that normal force that is balanced out by the weight force but there's an additional normal force between the two blocks so here's a case where the normal force is not opposite of the weight force now this similar situation is actually very similar to when you have tensions it's equal and opposite but they don't cancel out because they act on two different objects so if we look at each object separately F minus n is the net force on object 1 equals m1a and n equals m2a as always the acceleration is the same for both objects so we're going to take this normal force we're going to plug it in here and you're going to get f minus m2a equals m1a or F equals M1 plus M2 equals A when I bring this over, or A equals F over M1 plus M2, which makes sense. The net acceleration of the system would be the force applied to the whole system divided by the mass of the whole system. Now, it might look a little different when we include friction, but here you get exactly what you would expect. So that's the equation for the acceleration of the system. To get the acceleration of the normal force, you simply plug it back into here. So the normal force is going to equal m2 over m1 plus m2 times f. Again, if you'd have just plugged this in and had f times m2 on the top, it's not wrong. But we like trying to express things as fractions of other things. So here, the normal force is some fraction of the pushing force. It's worth noting that the biggest this normal force can ever get is the same as F. You can never get it uh, to be bigger than F because it's going to be M2 over M2 plus something else, so this number can never be bigger than 1. So let's look at these limits. So if M1 is much, much greater than M2, so if M1 is much, much greater than M2, you get essentially 0 over a big number which is going to give you that. So if M2 is, or rather if M2 is much smaller than M1, you're going to get a normal force that is approaching zero. And that kind of makes sense. If this was the elephant and this was the gerbil, and you're pushing the elephant into the gerbil, the normal force between the, the gerbil and the elephant is going to be considerably smaller than the force you're giving on the elephant. Similarly, if M2 is much bigger, if this is huge and you end up with something really small, effectively zero plus huge, you get elephant over elephant gives you one, and that's going to mean that the normal force is going to be approximately the same size as the force you're pushing. It's a teeny tiny bit smaller, but not much. Finally, let's look at uh, some numbers. So if I go and I plug in here, I'm not going to rewrite the equation. Uh, we're going to have a pushing force of 45 newtons over M1 is going to be 10 kilograms plus 5 kilograms. 
so that's going to be the acceleration that is going to be an acceleration of three meters per second squared as you can see I like to pick numbers that make the math easy because I'm trying to concentrate on the physics more than the uh, the math and to get the normal force the normal force is just going to be m2 times a so that is going to be uh, five kilograms times three meters per second squared and the normal force is going to be 15 newtons 15 newtons compared to 45 newtons is one-third because 5 over 10 plus 15 is one-third it's one-third of the uh, mass of the whole system is in object 2 so this is how you do problems where you have one block being pushed into another it's very similar to when you have say a train and you have tensions between the cars except now we have two blocks being pushed you could add a third block or a fourth block or a fifth block. The, the system really is the same for solving these problems. There's just going to be uh, more equations, more unknowns, because you'll have more free body diagrams and hence more equations of motion. As always, I hope you found this helpful.